welcome to my channel so today we've got something pretty cool to build uh, I'm building a doll's rocking crib uh, it's a pretty cool design it's a cool wee project I've built a few before but this one's a wee bit different same process so looking forward to it excited to get into the build so why don't you join me let's get building So I've just uh, planed all the bits down, got them all to the right thickness, um, went all straight towards each other. So that will do these bits. You just need to glue them up and then cut them in half. And these will be the two headboards, the, the, the head and the feet of the cot. So let's get it. And these bits here will be for the base. But I need to clean them up get them thinner and then we'll glue them together so let's do that Here are the baseboards, nice and thin. Now let's get them joined. centimeters so roughly cut one and I'll use that one to cut the rest <laughs> so I've cut out the, the length um, and I'll just use this one as a guide to mark this one out so I can, I can use this bit for the tap railing Cut it in half, bottom railing, uh, and then I'll shape them. I'll cut this one and we'll do this one. And we're just going to use a table saw. I'm just going to square these up, make sure they're the exact same length, uh, and then put the fence on, and then we'll rip them in half. So let's get to that.
So we have the four railings. All we need to do is shape them next. So we've cut our railings now, um, and I've got them relatively the right size I want them. Um, so I'm going to keep the bottoms flat, and I'm going to put two chamfers on the top railings, um, each one, and then um, I'm not decided about the bottom ones. I might. I might put them, I might put a wee circle radius at the bottom railings look. so it's got a nice different wee contrast and um, because the way that I'm the way that I'm uh, joining the, the bed here is I'm simply just gonna uh, butt it in and, and, and glue it up in, in it with a sort of tight squeeze like that and uh, and I've, I've done that before and it's uh, it's held pretty good so let's get started so I'm just going to plane these down, get the paint on it off and start putting a wee chamfer on it and that'll be us. <laughs> so we're on the last one here. Just taking this wee final bit of paint off. <laughs> so we have got our top bits here. Oh, there's the top bits, and there's the bottom bits. I'm going to shape these, put channels on the top here, top of these bits, round the bottom bits of these ones off, um, and then we can move on to the headboard, the legboard, um, and the bottom of it. Um, once I've done that, then we can think about the spacing on the rails for the spindles. And we'll cut the spindles. That'll be us. So, do this. So, I'm just going to put that in here like this. That's the bottom rail, so we've got both bottom rails done, and we've got both top rails done. So now we need to work on the heat board and the leg board, or the, the, the heat in the back, um, which is still there drying, should be enough to start cutting now, and um, cut them out to the shape that we want them to be in. And then we can start lining up for the joinery to put these in and join them together. Um, and once we've done that, once I know the shape of that, dimensions, then I can start making the lines uh, um, for the spindles, how many I want, how far apart, I'll work that out and then we'll get to making the spindles themselves, or, or the dills, whatever you want to call them. But. So, let's move on. Right, there we go. 
Still's my half, and I'll fold that and I'll cut that, um, and we'll have a perfectly symmetrical. Both sides will be the same. Uh, that's how I do it. So let me cut it out and I'll get back to you. And there we go. There's my template. Now we need to transfer this to the wood. So we've got a bandsaw on it. Uh, jigsaw, cut it in half, then we'll cut the actual profile, the shape of it up on the bandsaw. And I've just got a wee metal blade in this, so it just creates a fine wee cut. There's no break out, tear out, um, locks held between the vise, so it's going to cut right through uh, in between the vise like that, so we're cool. Might get a wee bit of vibration, but we're alright. Let's go. So I'm just going to do my best to cut them to the line if I Half a bit like that, and then clean up and sand up. So, here we go. to go in there with a file and just file that so it's like uniform and flat and um, the jigsaw is not very accurate but it does the job so there we go both halves so I'm just working on the railings here um, and I'm going to put five spindles in between and I've just marked them out uh, like around about 7.8 mil and that gives me equal gaps between each of them and I can fit five spindles in so I'm just going to start working on the spindles with the new once I've made the spindles um, we'll drill the holes which they're only going to be about 5 mil I'll make the spindle, make the spindles around about 20, 25 mil coming up, bulging maybe. Um, mm, maybe a bit smaller than that, because we don't want them to break at the sides. Mm, so, going to get to that. So I'm just going to use this bit of wood here. It's really light. Don't want the don't want the crib to be too heavy and the spindles themselves are I don't think they're going to be any more than 15 centimetres 6 inches so I'm thinking that I'll get I'll probably get one, two probably get three three times
probably get about, I'll probably get the, the exact amount I need out of this. A bit more. I need 10 of them, so. Should get the exact amount we need out of this. So I'm just going to rip them in the bandsaw. Uh, and then I'm going to shape them with the spoke shave. Mel lightly, so let's get to that on the bandsaw. All I need four of these bits, I should get three, three out of one spindle. Uh, let's see, uh, I'll need four of them. I'll shape them with a spoke shave. Then we'll cut them into the right size. Um, let's move on. Let's go put these in the face. Use the spoke shave to make them a bit circular. And then we'll finish the math in the sander. Weight sander, I should say. In the sander. spindles cut sanded they're all they're all about 10 mil um, when I'm when I'm assembling the reel like that I might need to give them a little bit fine adjustment but they're all in about 10 mil here or there so uh, I'm just going to give them a final wee sand down and then we're going to cut them all to 15 mil length uh, and that should use 12 but we only need 10 but Two extras in case I make a mess, make a mistake. So, we'll do my final sand down, and then we'll move on. <laughs> so, I've just gave them an RV light sanding, uh, ready to be cut. And I'm just going to cut them about 13 more, I've measured it. So, I'll cut one, and I'll just use that one to cut the rest. Look. So, let's go on with Cut ten five for each side we need. No, let's get to drilling the holes and the rails, and then we'll glue it up. So I've just marked them with a pen so I can actually see where I'm drilling. So I was half in a couple of the holes, and um, only by like half a mil, but obviously that'll that'll you know make uh, the spindles like slanted when I join them together so I'm just going to drill them at the new and then we'll proceed to gluing
so we're ready for glue up. I've done a dry fit and they all fit nicely. I had to put a slight wee, sand them down just a slight wee bit because they were just a wee bit oversized. So I just made them, sand them down just a wee bit smaller there and they all fit nicely. Um, so as many days, glue them, a wee bit of glue on each of them, pop them in, make sure it's straight, clamp it, leave it to dry. That's what we shall do just now. dried up and I'm just going to keep it simple and not over complicate it I'm simply going to place them on these marks here trace around them chisel them out and they're like that they're like that this one same here here and I will chisel them out I'm just going to start the holes with the 16mm force knob bit. Hope that I don't get too much tear out in the back. Probably get a wee bit, but we'll see. Use this back bit, use this bit of wood here, and that'll, that'll stop tear out. Um, well, we shall find out the now.
for the fun of it, get a wee dry fit and see, see if we're close. Um, see if we are close. That one's good. Mm, all right, we got a failing. We got a failing. Mm. What is it this one? Right, that one's well off. Oh, I still missed a chunk there. Look. Defo, we bit a filing, filing needed. Yep. Uh, looking sweet so far. This side. Mm, that's a good wee bit here. Look. Nice. We are getting there. We bit a filing, filing. Uh, shall we back? Moment of proof, what I like, eh, what I want to see now, does it sit straight and does it rock? So, sitting straight and rocks, there you go, look at that. The bed, and I just had to keep taking wee slices off it. Until I've got a snug fit. I've got a snug fit now, so I'm gonna snug it into it and let it all dry for the night.
So it's all dry now, but we've got a lot of glue excess. So that's what I'm going to do now, spend a good bit of time sanding it all down, getting all the glue off and preparing it for oil and varnish. So let's get to it. So that's just put one coat of linseed oil on it and that's all it needs because I'm going to go put varnish on it and that will seal it so let's get to that So I've gave it two coats of varnish I'm going to gear it a wee sand with 400 and then we'll put a final coat on it so I'm just going to fire for the other note. So I've just smoothed it all down. Uh, just to smooth it a wee bit for the final coat of varnish. And I'm going to get to that note. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed watching the build process there. Um, I really enjoyed building uh, this wee crib. Uh, I've built a couple of cribs before like that, but uh, this one was uh, pretty cool to build. And I'm going to put a wee clip in at the end of this video, and I'll, I'll show you the other cribs that I've built. But um, I hope that you've enjoyed it, been inspired, if not just entertained. Nonetheless, I'm thankful that you are here. Um, and I hope that he's come back for future content and um, so if you enjoyed watching the video and you enjoyed the content of my channel hit that subscribe button as it costs you nothing but a click helps the channel grow and thank you again guys all right see you in the next video and build something <laughs>